Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Today I have a step-by-step -step video for you. This step-by-step -step video is a draft that I did for my girlfriend. Here's the first sketch, it's very rough and it's so I can get the basic idea of what I want to do. Now I have a more detailed sketch. Why do I do it in blue? I don't know. Uh, because I think it's fun and uh, I can see exactly now what I want to do and what the final would look like. Uh, the blue is just because, I don't know, I like blue. This is the first step of drawing the 36 inch by 40 inch giraffe. It's a pretty large sketch done on four pieces of newsprint paper. Uh, a sort of, a different type of newsprint paper, it's more like a graphic drawing paper. First comparison of the 11 inch by 8 inch sketch and a pencil, you can see the size difference from the original sketch to what is now the initial sketch of the final piece. Here is further progress on the face and you can see more detail in the eyes. The final drawing before I actually start painting is now finished, uh, I have details and everything that needs to be mapped out before I start the painting process. I've now begun the stage for color. Um, the reason why it's green is because I'm colorblind. Uh, if many of you m may not know that, but yes, I'm colorblind and I can't see certain colors. Um, and the reason I chose these colors is because of my reference photo. Uh, it's just what it looked like to me. Now you can see the left side of the face is now complete. Here I started to add color to the horns those uh, the giraffes have. Now the entire face is complete, except for the ears and the tongue. In this shot, the eyes are now fully rendered. Uh, here you can see how big the piece is uh, compared to my desk. It takes up literally my entire desk. Um, and you can see uh, my box of oil pastels there, there as well. I forgot to mention I uh, added the ears. Um, those are a mixture of a couple different colors. And here I've added the tongue. Um, and the reason why the tongue is blue slash purple is because I decided to make um, the entire piece look a little funky now that the, uh, the, the giraffe is green. Um, my friend told me that it looked green. I was like, eh, what the heck, might as, well, uh, might as well go crazy with it. Now I'm starting to fill in the giraffe spots. I now filled in the rest of the spots, um, the fur and the mane. Uh, if you look closely in the spots, you can see that I spell out my girlfriend's name starting from the top of the neck down to the bottom of the piece. Um, if you can't read it, her name's Elena. You have to look a little closely. Um, most people can't see it at first, but it's there. Here I added the background color. Um, what I did for this was I went to Home Depot and got um, a very light blue paint. Um, it's called Party Blue or something like that. I originally got it to paint, uh, repaint a guitar that I had done and uh, I just had a lot of this left over and I really liked the color and it really worked with this piece so I just used it on the... So to finish off the background I added um, a similar pattern to the draft spots on its neck um, and what I did was just I took a bunch of different blues, layered them on top of the original background blue, and um, as you can see I left a small little opening spot for my signature. The painting is now complete, you can see I signed it in the bottom right corner. Well guys, this is the final outcome of the piece, uh, I hope you enjoyed this step by step on, on um, what I did to complete this piece, let me know if you guys like this sort of thing uh, I have one more of these um, if you like these let me know I will be happy to do more of these um, so keep me posted on what you want to see on this channel I'm totally open for suggestions just comment down below send me personal messages and I'll be happy to answer them and you know 
and uh, respond and, and make these videos that you guys want to see. Uh, until next time, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and favorite this video. Share to your friends. And uh, I'll see you on Friday.